Hey guys, it's Sarah from Northern Michigan Soap Company. Today we're going to be making our Vintage Rose Shea Butter Soap, and it's Vintage Rose Fragrance from Nature's Garden. I'm sorry, that's Victorian Rose from Nature's Garden. And here we have our pre-measured oils, and we're going to go ahead and mix in our lye solution. And we're going to go ahead and try and get this to pour down the stick blender. And that is in hopes of keeping the air bubbles to a minimum. So we're going to go ahead and blend this together and we're going to bring it to emulsification. So I'll go ahead and speed this part up for you. So we have reached emulsification, so we're going to go ahead and add our fragrance oil. And this fragrance oil smells kind of, it's like a powdery rose with a little bit of musk. And according to the description, it's fresh cut roses with base notes of white musk and amber. This here is activated charcoal. And this is going to be our base color, which is amaranth pink from Nurture Soap. I'm going to go ahead and pour a little bit in each color. I'm really not a huge musky floral type person, but this fragrance actually is a little comforting to me because the smell of it actually reminds me of being around my grandma. It kind of reminds me of her perfume. And it actually is a really good seller for our spring and summer months. Every batch that I make, we always sell out, which of course is a really good problem to have. So now we're ready to go ahead and make the whole base our pink color. So I'm just gonna add this in, we're gonna scrape our pot out, and then we're just gonna mix it all together and we'll, we should be about ready to pour. So we're going to blend this all together and I will go ahead and speed this part up for you. So we are at a good trace now and we're going to go ahead and pour this in our mold. And it's pretty simple because it's only one color, so we don't have a lot going on. So it's fairly quick. And I'll scrape out my pot here. And then we'll get ready to get our activated charcoal in. Now that we have the pink all leveled out across the mold, we're ready to add the activated charcoal. And my goal is to get the black to kind of sink down in, so I'm going to bury it a little bit. And then I'm going to use my hanger tool and swirl it down. And the last little bit of the activated charcoal, I'm actually going to pour from a higher distance and that should help the black to sink down a little bit as well and I really am trying to keep the black on the side. I want as little as possible to run across the rest of the soap so that's another reason why I have a little bit of a bumper here. So now I'm going to use my hanger tool and then I'm going to kind of swirl it around on just this one side. Okay, so now it's time to really add our textured top. So all I'm doing is taking my spoon and I'm just going to be scooping this one side all the way over to the black because the black is where we are going to add our rose petals. And this is pretty much the best time to be making a summer soap because right now we are in a blizzard warning. 
and we're kind of getting blasted out of the water with snow and first it started with heavy rain um, we usually get a bunch of snow anyway but this is kind of intense looking outside it's pretty white out but starting on our summer stock it really keeps hope high that summer is just around the corner so now it's time to add our rose petals and I prefer to buy mine from Mountain Rose Herbs, but I actually think I bought these ones on Amazon because when I went to buy them, I think Mountain Rose Herbs was out of stock. But I'll go ahead and leave the link below. So the edge here where I poured the activated charcoal, I actually mounted the soap onto this side. So we're just gonna put these rose petals in pieces on um, this section right along the black. And I want to make sure that these petals are pretty thick along here because when I go to cut the bars, a lot of these petals are going to fall off. So I'm going to make sure that they're nice and thick and then I'm going to pat them all down so they can kind of stick into the soap a little bit better. So being that this is all things rose today, I would like to know what kind of rose is your favorite? My favorites are the yellow with the pink tips or the white ones that have the pink tips on the end. Those are my favorite. I'd like you to comment below and tell me which, which ones that you like. So now I'm going to take my rubbing alcohol and I'm going to be spraying the top and this is to help prevent soda ash. And I showed you in another video how I like to rinse the soda ash off afterwards. However, I can't do that this time because I have the petals on. I'll link that video above as well. But hopefully with the rubbing alcohol, um, we can keep soda ash to a minimum and it will help keep these rose petals to stay attached to the soap. So this is done now and I'm going to go ahead and put this in the oven for 18 to 24 hours and we will come back tomorrow and give it a cut. So we are back the next day and surprisingly all the rose petals seem to stay put. Very few of them fell off and even our soda ash is an absolute minimum. So I'm putting this log on the side with the rose petals on the front on the downward side because if I have it the way I normally cut soap, it will cause drag marks and we're going to try and avoid that. So I'll take one out of the center so you guys can see what it looks like. And you can see the black, the activated charcoal there with a little bit of the hanger swirl, how that turned out. Turned out really nice. And guys, that is all I have for today. So you know what to do. Give me a thumbs up if you like this video. And please, if you haven't already, please hit that subscribe button and the little bell next to it for um, you to receive the notifications when new videos come out. We'll see you next time. Have a good one.